Well, we talked earlier in the week about why people might be getting larger tax bills than they perhaps had anticipated. One other reason could be, well, because their portfolios did pretty well last year. Let's talk more about that with Eric Bailey, Steward Partners Global Advisory Executive Managing Director, joining us as part of this week FA Corner. Eric, thank you for being here. So first of all, talk us through what effect last year's rally in the markets broadly is having on people's tax bills this year. Yeah, you know, uh, April 18th is uh, is next week or next Monday. Um, so right now, clients, investors are all finalizing their taxes. And what we're seeing is clearly larger tax bills. Uh, and that's, as you said, because 2021 was just a very unique year. I mean, all asset classes really across the board did well. Equities of all kinds, fixed income did well, real estate alternatives did well. And so it was a good thing, right? People's portfolios were up, their net worths were up, but what we're seeing is uh, pretty uh, much larger tax bills than we've seen in past years. Eric, uh, help our viewers understand this, because we have a lot of millionaires that are sitting on large sums of money that watch us daily, that have been making money in the market uh, to a large extent the past few years. Should they be selling some of their stocks today just to account for any losses? No, I mean, you know, taxes, I mean, typically you look at taxes at the end of a calendar year, right? So now I would not be selling just for taxes because now we're in an uncertain environment, right? The markets are down. And so I would not be making portfolio decisions today on taxes. Typically, you know, in the last year, you kind of, you, you review your portfolio, you, you see what you look at is your realized gains. Like how many gains have you taken? Whether in individual positions, uh, index funds, mutual funds, whatever you have, and then you try to look across your portfolio and see, okay, where can I offset some of these gains? And that's where you look in your portfolio. And if you have positions with losses, then it makes sense. It does make sense uh, to offset those gains because under current law, you can only write off three thousand dollars right now in losses. So not a lot for for people with sizable portfolios. So if they don't have, so if they don't, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, so basically it's too late <laughs> in terms of, of trying now to offset those gains at this point. It is, you know, for taxes, yeah, it's a calendar year, right? January 1st to December 31st. So even though we have until April uh, this year, 18th to file our taxes, we are doing it all for what happened in 2021. And on the flip side, if people are getting these big tax bills and they have to pay them, um, where are you suggesting that folks look in their portfolios if they need to raise some cash in order to to pay the tax bill? Sure. Yeah, I mean, that's a that's a uh, that's you know, those are discussions uh, I, me as an advisor are having with my clients or individual investors have to look at their portfolio because people have to write these tax checks. And so April historically can be bumpy in the markets because people are, are instead of looking for opportunities, they're looking at their portfolios where they might need to raise cash. And so uh, obviously, you, you know, you first want to look at the most liquid assets you have. So stocks, funds, ETFs are very uh, easy assets you can sell for cash. Um, then you might want to look at other, you know, fixed income possibly. Uh, would be other areas you, you would sell. But I would say the best part is you, you want to look at the most liquid assets and and, if, and positions that have, have done well, certainly take a little off of that position to rebalance and, and use that cash for your tax bill. Eric, one of my uh, good friends is a, a corporate accountant, and he recently told me that all of his clients owe a lot of money, and he's been surprised. Seemingly every client owes money. Have you had the same experience? Absolutely, Brian. Yeah, this year... Uh, the tax bills I'm seeing for my clients are substantial. And again, you know, uh, last year was just a unique year. You know, assets across the board did very well. Uh, there was a lot of trading. So people, investors, uh, you know, they ended the year very happy, a lot of smiles because they saw, you know, they were up double digits. Real estate was up, people's homes, uh, investment properties were up. But now, unfortunately, you know, we got to pay for it. And so, uh, uh, these are harder discussions to have, you know, uh, especially in this more volatile market. Where am I going to get the cash to pay uh, to pay my tax bill? 
Yeah, and that is a really good reminder, um, that, as you mentioned, to sort of watch the markets this month to see if there's any evidence of people trying to raise cash in order to pay those taxes. Uh, Eric Bailey, thank you so much for your perspective. Steward Partners, Global Advisory, Executive Managing Director. Thanks.